What's up everybody, it's your boy Nate. Today we're talking about the most spectacular creations coming out from the community. That's right, we're talking about creators just like you because After Effects by itself is one of the most powerful softwares in the VFX arsenal, but it would not be nearly as dope if it wasn't thanks to creators like you. If this is your first time here on the channel, I wanna make sure that you guys go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to ding that notification bell because we got a whole bunch of super dope stuff planned for you. If you guys are already subscribed, I wanna send a huge thanks because you guys are helping us get that much closer to our goal of 500,000 subscribers by the end of this year. Anyways, I'm super excited. I know you are too. All right, let's go. After Effects is a super powerful software that is especially useful when it comes to compositing, motion tracking, and creating motion graphics. The creators on this list are some of the dopest ones that I've seen. So guess what we're doing today? We're gonna be talking about their work and also breaking down some of the ways that you can incorporate these techniques into works of your own. Quick disclaimer, the creators on this list are not in order of importance. They're just too dope to compare like that, but the final three are the ones that I found to be the most inspiring. So make sure you go ahead, stick around to the very and so you don't miss out on those ones. Anyways, I got the list. Let's hop right into this. First up at number 10, here we have one from at Kakumbo on TikTok who creates this amazing unexpected cinematic take on cosplaying. Kakumbo uses a combination of After Effects and 3D rendering as well as motion tracking to create this Willy Wonka scene that looks super fun and exciting. Next up at number nine, this next one is from user Kcox1980 and what you're looking at right there is not a mini at all even though it looks like it instead it's utilizing a really awesome technique which is creating a tilt shift effect now when you're seeing things with this blurred perspective in the top and the bottom it actually makes things look like they're miniatures and then he even takes that another level further by lowering down the frame rate so it also feels like a stop motion this effect was heavily inspired by the channel Lil Big Worlds who dominates when it comes to creating these effects I love the way that you put this piece together how you're able to use the camera lens blur to its fullest and I hope to see more of your work. Here we have at number eight, next we have one from user Dillian Muse who creates this awesome looking infinite zoom to earth loop. If you're curious how he got that initial shot, he's actually using a Mavic drone. You can see it right there in his glasses. I love how fluid this transition was and how it even loops at the very end, which is just an amazing use of the zoom transition effect. If you're curious how this was made, essentially he is just taking those photos and those stills from the different satellite imageries and then also compositing that in with his drone shot to create an awesome looking piece. Number seven on the list. Next we have Andres Pizon who creates these amazing looking motion graphics. These are actually a combination of the shape layers and after effects and then also 3D and Cinema 4D. It's just amazing and mind-blowing how fluid and dynamic these renders came out and I'd love to see where you take your work in the future. Love it a lot and I hope to see more. At number six here we have Fried Pixels who's also known as James Ramirez and he creates this amazing design and animation and compositing used for the movie Uncharted. It's really awesome to see the way that After Effects is actually getting used in the industry and I love that you show your breakdown of your process, how you're actually able to create these different UI elements and motion graphics and compositions all within the software from the storyboarding phase all the way to the very final renders. It's just super dope. Not only that but he also shows us that he's using a plugin called Stardust to help create different visuals as well. If you guys are curious about Stardust you can go ahead and check that link down in the description because it's going to be right there for you guys to get to explore for your own. All right, we're halfway through the list at number five. Next up, we have one from at Keyframe Academy and John brings us this awesome faux 3D character animation. I loved watching the breakdown and the process for this. I just love the way that this looks and I want to send a huge congrats to you as well because you make dope tutorials, dope work, and it's always a pleasure to see what you're up to, John. If you guys are curious how this was made, I recommend you check out the tutorial, but for a brief breakdown, he's using using limber and he's also hand drawing in reference images to help him with that character animation process. Love
love the way this came out and I hope to see more of your work. If you guys are enjoying these creators and want to show support for this series, make sure that you hit that like button. It does a tremendous amount. Next at number four, here we have one from Cal's Zero who creates this amazing portfolio and showreel of his work. The reason why I love this one so much was because it shows that he was getting ready for work and he actually incorporated a whole bunch of motion design trends that we've even talked about recently on our last motion design trends 2022 video. If you guys are curious what those are, I recommend you guys check that video out because we talk about things like restricted colors, animated collages, 3D integration, and grainy gradients, which you can see all of them right here in this showreel. So I was just super impressed and I definitely think you're ready for work, man. All right, things are heating up. We're down to the final three, number three on the list. Okay, when I saw this, it completely blew my mind. This is the plugin Helium from AE Scripts. Now Helium is a plugin that allows you to do 3D animation and compositing right within After Effects. And that may sound similar because in the past I've talked about Element 3D before, which is a super powerful plugin that does pretty much the same thing, except Element 3D is about $300 or so, and Helium is like $60 and sometimes goes on discount pretty frequently. Now at first I wasn't really interested in Helium at all, and in fact I never really messed with it because I'm like, all right, I already have Element. But when I saw that they're able to create customizable explosion renders right within After Effects by importing VDB files, I was just mind blown that this was even possible. If you guys are curious what VDB files are, they're ones that are typically used for Houdini, which lets you create different volumetrics and you can export them out or even render them using different softwares like Blender. But now we get those capabilities as well using the Helium plugin in After Effects, which is just super awesome. And I love to see that this plugin lets you do that. Anyways, love it a lot and I hope to see more. Here at number two, this one, if you've not seen before, is gonna blow your mind. This was created by Alternative Cuts on YouTube and he creates all these amazing different cinematic recreations, but with a little twist on them. So this one is Tuco using the Affinity Stones in the most efficient way possible, which is, I guess, snorting them. <laughs> the thing that blows me away about this is just the attention to detail when it comes to compositing and creating all these amazing effects in the storyline all tying together. I recommend you guys check out this video. He's actually using After Effects, Mocha, Photoshop, Premiere Pro, Cinema 40, and X Particles for those hammer lightning effects, as well as PF Track for 3D tracking the scene. This is an impressive fan edit, and I really love Alternative Cuts work. He also makes this awesome Spider-Man edit, which is super, super cool too. So definitely love your work, Alternative Cuts, and I hope you keep on making awesome recreations that have me giggling. And last but not least, we have at number one, here we have one from Diego Woods, and he brings us this amazing cosplay edit, which honestly, I think that term is just diminishing how awesome it is because this is like a fan edit that is on a whole nother level. When I saw Diego Woods, I was like, oh my freaking goodness, this guy is killing it because not only does he make himself into different characters, but as a person, he has great martial arts skills as well. Like what an interesting combo. Here we have him turning himself into Sasuke Uchiha. This is actually a combination of both After Effects and Blender, which is a really cool use case because I love whenever people can not only make something that's so well composited, but also an entirely dynamic scene that's also built in Blender. He also made this really awesome one where he turned himself into Inumaki. I love the way that he shows the breakdown from storyboarding and concepting all the way down to the final animations and renders. Anyways, I love your work, Diego Woods, and I hope to see more. So those techniques were some of the dopest I've seen, but if you guys are interested in learning even more techniques and more awesome creators that are just pumping out some of the craziest works, I guarantee you're gonna wanna check out this video because we have so much more for you guys. Click this video, don't miss out on it. Also, if you guys are interested in Blender, we have a whole series that's based on Blender as well. The reason why I like talking about Blender is because it is completely for free. Make sure you guys go ahead, check out that series as well if you're interested. Anyways, thanks for watching and I hope to catch you all on the next one. Peace.